I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. What was she sending you? Only some feed she's been developing. I was going to give it to Professor Howen for the measles. What kind of research is she doing? It varies from week to week, but it's always to do with creatures. Last week she was studying leg knots in plimpies. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realised that she didn't know the poachers had her egg, so when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. How do you track a dragon, Loma? Tree canopies, burn marks, and... Well done. You saw... I can't be certain, but I have an idea. I thought we might go and see it. Of course. Shall we... If that's all right, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would... I suspect it's how the poachers found her. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to run. You got all of that from simply standing here? You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. You're making this sound simple, but this... Hebrideans can be aggressive, but they're also clever. She caught... She'll understand why we're here once she sees her egg. Then we can be finished with the poacher. I don't suppose you've thought about keeping it? No. It belongs to her. If you're right about finding her here, how do... Her nest will likely be in the heart of her den. We well then, let's find out... Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. There she is, above us. She did make it home safe. Oh, good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. Revelio. It's worth. She doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Let's hope it stays that way. At least until we've done what we came to do. Revenue. I wonder how many they brought to capture her. At least ten, usually. How charming. They keep in touch with each other. There she is again. She's from a distance. I see the bridge wasn't spared her wrath either. Good thing it's fixable. <laughs>
repel. Revelio. Hmm, I wonder how good her eyesight is. I beg your pardon? I don't imagine the poachers fed her well. And from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Hebrideans love sheep. How lucky for us. Watch your step. Rebellion! Or just raring for a fight. She listened to reason. I'd normally try, but we're well past that. Get to that opening below her. Here broken. Repel. Now, if we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss.
was brilliant. And did you see how clever? She left us perfectly unharmed. Creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize. That's what Gran always says. The important thing is that we survived it. Thank you for doing this with me. Wouldn't blame you one bit if you want. I was hoping to look around for a moment, if you don't mind. I suppose we could catch. I wonder how long she. Rebellion! Or where she'll go now. I can't believe any of. Still taking it all in? No. I think I'm ready to leave if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. How could I have been so blind? Again, wonderful to see you. As before, I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, you're all set with the new upgrade. I can't... <clears throat> this might... You'd like me to report back with even more? 
You know me well. I feel I'm almost there. Miss Rays is running a time trial at the South Coast course. Not ideal, really, what with rumours of Ranrock's lot and Ash... However, if you're flying high above them, you should be all right, I think. I'm not worried, Mr Weeks. I hope you are able to complete these trials. I have a feeling that... Do be careful, of course. I shall look forward to it. I look forward to our next meeting. Perhaps I could test them. Nice to see you, my young friend. Wouldn't mind a plum job at Gringotts. Suit me sitting around all day. Mind you, I suppose it could get a bit boring. Here's a pleasant surprise.
ready to put an end to Harlow? Are you ready to put an end to Harlow? I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Philbert, Otto Dibel, and Mr. and Mrs. Webb. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the Hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. Where am I to find these friends of his? I do not know about Mr. Rabe, but his wife, Daisy, is often in Hogsmeade, as is Agabus Philbert. And Otto Dibble, he works at Gladrax, so you will likely find him there. What sort of information am I trying to gather from these people? They may know what evidence Mr. Bickle had against Harlow, or they may have evidence of their own. We simply need to know whatever they know. Very well. I'll speak with them, see what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Hopefully by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. Mrs. Rabe should be nearby. Oh, Isco, what have I done? Mrs. Rabe, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a... Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my daughter. What do you mean? Why? <laughs> I'm a security guard at Gringotts, and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give and my dearest Isco is paying the price. Why wouldn't Harlow extort your husband? Isco's job is even more removed from the vaults than mine. He travels the world for the bank. He could do nothing for Harlow. I'm the one in the bank on a daily basis, which evidently makes me an enticing target for blackmail. Have you helped Harlow since your husband was taken? No. I'm worried sick about Isco, but he'd never want me to compromise my integrity. I also know that he's extremely clever. That said, I was hoping he would have escaped by now. It makes me concerned as to why he hasn't. Are you sure the note means that you're... What else could it possibly mean? Besides, I came home to... It may sound silly, but those were Isco's pride. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow... Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's... I shall do all I can to get evidence again. Very well. Here's the note I received. The quidditch cancelled at Hogwarts this year might make the most Some evidence worth hanging on to. Thank you. I hope it's not too late. Now, to find Mr. Bickles of two... Otto Dibble works at Gladrax. I should check there. Yeah, but, but, but please tell me you didn't take it. But perhaps it's been here all along. Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Hart. I've nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest... Please, sir, I'd like to help. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm, 
All right. But I know Mr. Hell. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. No, oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note, when you know who came into the shop. I had the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he'd placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned... What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well, secretly... We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment... What did he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expense. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so... I've been able to cover for his request until now, but I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm... T What have you been doing to keep the extortion a secret? Well, as I mentioned, creative bookkeeping. And I've also been trying to cover the costs with my own savings, but I'm running out of money. Of course, none of this bodes well for my efforts to improve my circumstances and to be worthy of Rosie. I met Mr. Hill the day of the troll attack. He's a lovely man. But when it comes to Rosie, I fear he loses all perspective. He'd see this as a grave betrayal. I'd lose my job instantly, and Rosie as well. Could you give me a bit more detail about the note? It's on Rosie's special pink stationery. It has her monogram at the top, R.H. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You Understood. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. We're on the right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Biggle's friends. Hmm. Agabus Filbert must be around here somewhere. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused. If you had spoken out against him as Mr. Bickle asked, Perhaps Harlow would be locked away by now. Perhaps. But... Uh, perhaps I would have suffered a similar fate. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, one day Harlow came calling to punish me for having... Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry, with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core, still am to be... I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again, but do you mind if I share this information with offers? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Harlow does not like people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friend. Now to find Natty.
it's not like Natty to be late. She said she was going to the hog's head. Perhaps I'll find her there. He must be around here somewhere. Revelio. Natty's wand. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Revelio will show me where she was taken. Nosy little students get what's coming to them. <laughs> Revelio. Natty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. The footprints led to this room. There must be another way forward. Hidden door. Natty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. I'd better be sure I'm not seen. for the girl's friend, if they're daft enough to try to come through here. It's exhausting! 
course, then. Standing here all day waiting to do Rookwood's work for him. The truth is not Alice. Ravelio. <laughs> Rookwood will reward us for our loyalty, don't you, Fred? If you'd listen to me, you wouldn't need to concern yourself with such matters. We got him, Leviosa. Lower Oxfield needs some stocks It's about time Rookwood took control. He doesn't need Van Rock. Otto Dibble's love letter from Rosie. He wanted me to destroy this if I found it. sees what I'm capable of. Say nothing. The boss will deal with her when he arrives. Well, Stupid. Uh, uh, 
Defender. Flipender. Bombarda. You'll be sorry you did that. Quite conductive, this <laughs> way. Expulsion! Not as good. Magnus Filbert. He'll be thrilled to have this back. That he must be here somewhere. Rebellion. apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Use mine. We'll find yours together once you're out of there. I need my wand for this. Using one with which I have no connection may not work as well or as quickly, and we cannot risk the I shall do my best. Any idea? It's nearby. I can see. Understood. Your friend Natty was not able to summon rebellion. It must be brought by something. Mr. Rape's wand could be in there. I can tell. Mr. Rape's wand! He'll be glad to have this back. Mr. Rape, I found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now. You best stand back. One never knows how it comes. Out of here on our own. 
Very well. But be careful. Thank you, my young friend. Be prepared for a fight. These Ashwinders must pay. Natsai Onai. I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Isker Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Is Mr. Rabel right? He is. I sent him home to his wife. Miss Onai, your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risk. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had... In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe, to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus... Uh, I will look into all of that. I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Yes, officer. Do you have enough air? Well, it's certainly a good start. Natsai? You may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you for your We shall speak soon. Uh. Uh. 